All right, uh, don't mind the absolute mess. I just got done with most of cage cleaning for the day, uh, and I thought I would show real quick how I do a uh, mite treatment, because I noticed some signs of mites, and uh, I hate those, so I don't take any risks. Thankfully, uh, they're not too hard to get rid of. Mites with mice, though, um, and with most animals, it's hard to completely avoid them because they can come in in your bedding, they can come in in your food, they can come in when you get other mice and you won't even like recognize that they're there because they can hide really well. But uh, for the for the things that you're going to need for mites, this is kind of something that works for basically any mite that you have. Uh, it's a very effective treatment. It is a diluted permethrin spray, diatomaceous earth, and that's about it. And then you're just going to spray basically everything down, uh, including the mouse, with a diluted spray. You don't want it to be full concentrate. And mice are very resilient when it comes to dealing with uh, this specific chemical. I did some research online and they do quite well with it, uh, compared to other species at least. If you have cats though, uh, you're going to need to keep your cats away from any area where you treat with permethrin. At least for a while, because especially when it's wet, it... They're, they're not very good at processing it, so it can, it can mess up your cats. It can kill them. So, yeah, just keep your cats away. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just uh, sprinkling a little bit of diatomaceous earth on the bottom of the cage. And you'll just kind of move that around. You can use your hands, but uh, keep in mind that you don't want to breathe this stuff in, stuff in very much. Uh, so you don't want to, you know, get it too much everywhere, but you're going to just spread it. So it's in all the corners especially. Because uh, that's where a lot of mites and bugs will, will try to, you know, concentrate when they leave your mouse. And then uh, on top of that, you're going to put in your bedding. So let me just, I have some separated right here. Made a mess with it, but sorry, I don't mind that camera angle. But then you're going to add in your bedding. And uh, I have a mix here of pine shavings. And then I've got pieces of, like, you know, just uh, shopping bags, the brown paper bags that they give you when you're grocery shopping. My mice really love that stuff ripped up. And then this stuff helps them add structure to their nests or tunnels if they want to add them. And then you'll just need your hides. And you want to keep it pretty simple when you're treating for mites. You don't want to go extravagant because anything you put in there uh, can become a little place for mites to hide. And you're trying to just make sure that everything is basically treated with mites. So actually, before I put this in, I'm going to take the Vetericin spray, and I'm just going to give it a brief misting. Uh, then I'm just going to kind of tussle everything around so the spray gets in everything. And I'm going to add a, a pinch more bedding. And this is just a kiln-dried pine bedding, for anybody who's interested. Uh, it's dust extracted... It's pretty good stuff, I really like it. And my mice have done well on it for years, so good bedding. Sadly, I don't know if they have it anywhere, but here, the brand I use at least. There we go, a bit more. And the Vetericin spray, I mean, sorry, not Vetericin, Permethrin. I hope I haven't been saying Vetericin. Vetericin is an antimicrobial or antibiotic spray for injuries. This is Permethrin, <laughs> Permethrin spray. But, yeah, then I just mix it around so that it kind of gets on everything, and this stuff will uh, remain relatively effective for up to four weeks. But, of course, you're not going to let your cage sit for up to four weeks, so you'll change it about every week. Then you just put your hide on, make sure they have some food. I keep this bucket right here full of uh, Missouri pellets, and I have actually dusted them with diatomaceous earth as well because I had some moth uh meal moths starting to appear on things, grain moths, whatever you might want to call them. And then you've got a cage that is uh, locked and loaded, ready to kill mites uh, and anything that might, uh, other bugs that might be on your mice. And uh, typically you'll want to treat for about four weeks, give or take. Um, you can go for a little bit longer, up to six weeks if you want, but you don't want to even though they're pretty hardy against it, you don't want them to be exposed to the to the uh, spray for too long. You can always do the preventative, like, diatomaceous earth at the bottom of the cage, though. You just want to make sure the dust settles before you put the mice in the actual cages. And that's about it. I have been doing this treatment for, this is going to be the third week here. 
so I've just got one more week after this. And then we should be solid. This little girl has a little bit of an eye problem right now. She's an old lady, so I'm keeping an eye on her, trying to help her out. These guys are all like my sister's really, really old mice. So this girl also has some leg problems. <laughs> this girl's just really old, so she's starting to get a little bit bony. Yeah, you're a little bony. And then another old bony lady. But yeah, old ladies, they got the treatment as well. Then in here we have a lady with a litter. I didn't actually uh, directly spray the babies or her. This cage was treated like a week ago, so it's still effective though. And I like spray the corner of it. But she was treated before she gave birth pretty effectively, so she should be fine. Some more babies that were just treated, and I actually directly spray all of the mice as well before I put them in. Uh, just to kill off any mites that are walking on them. There we go. And right now, what I'm doing is going to be putting these males into these cages right here. Normally they have like wheels and other fun things to play with, but... And I normally have like a little playground set up on top of this thing, but... No playground for now, because that would be too too much of a concern when it comes to treating mites. Yeah, when we're treating mice we can't do as many fun things, sadly. There we go. Here's another boy. This boy's a bit younger. He's one of the ones that I noticed mites on. Yeah, he's kind of scruffy. It's part of what clued me off to it, but I've been keeping an eye on him. You know, uh, moving his fur like this. You see that right there? That right there is... Oh, yeah, I can't see it anymore. But that right there is one of the mites, which shows me that we're not quite out of the woods yet. I don't know why this boy was a magnet for them, but he was a magnet for them. And as I said, you're going to want to do the treatment for four weeks because the eggs aren't going to be as affected. So any eggs that were laid on your mice or in the bedding are still going to be there for... A good long while. This boy actually had quite a few. Now, I think that one right there might be one of the only mites I see on him right now. So, the fact that I can see it though is not the best. Yeah, and the reason that I'm doing such a rigorous treatment is because these are what I believe are tropical red mites or tropical rat mites. I think they've been called either one. And they are pretty uh, vigorous. Pretty intense, pretty tough to get rid of. So we are crushing uh, these guys with the treatment. All of these cages have already been treated. And the hope is that every single egg that hatches out and every single adult that's in there comes into contact with the veterinarian and uh, hopefully they all die. Thankfully everybody else, there were a couple of mice that were also showing signs, like this boy actually was showing signs of mites, but he has become very soft and fluffy. He's feeling great, and he's actually also gained some weight. <laughs> uh, I think one of the reasons I, I didn't notice the mites is because these boys have just been eating a lot. <laughs> and, uh, you know, slightly chubbier. So they've maintained a good weight. Even though they've been getting chewed on. Hey bud. This is one of my new baby boys. So he's still pretty small. He's so sweet. And I actually haven't noticed any mite mites on him before. So. I don't know. They could just be hiding though. Yeah, they could just be hiding. They could be. Alright. Yeah, he's looking pretty good though. And they all got sprayed. Veteracin doesn't kill on contact, but it kills pretty fast after contact. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, it messes with their neurological system, makes it so they have a hard time like gripping things, processing things, existing, basically. And pretty soon they just kind of fall off of stuff and curl up and die. <laughs> this is another boy that I noticed some mites on um, a little while ago. And he's actually, uh, ever since I've started treatments, become chunkier and a lot more active. So he, he'll, like, do a lot more climbing now than he used to. So that's great. It makes me feel bad. <laughs> I didn't notice sooner, but, you know, uh, mites are sneaky. They hide really, 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 really well. And sometimes it's hard to see them until they become a problem. So 
yeah. Sometimes they do. It doesn't help that these boys are chunky. Like, look at this guy. And, and they're also very fluffy. Chunky, fluffy, soft. Thankfully, though, these, these really light-colored boys that are nearly white made it kind of easy because I was able to look more closely at the coat. Sorry, the, the camera's going crazy because there's not enough light. There we go. That's a little bit better. But, yeah, as you can see, if we look really closely at the skin, there are no mites in there, which is lovely. So he's doing a lot better. Climbing up my arm. Yeah, and we like to see that because that means you're hyper a little bit. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Can you go back down, though? So, yeah, I've been doing, like, a daily checkup, and everybody else that I've noticed mites on has basically lost any signs of mites now. There's already a boy in there. It's just that one, one little guy that's still been having problems. Do I have anybody in here already? Okay, I think this is your place. There we go. Yeah, that's your place. Yeah, I treated it and everything. I even put some sunflower seeds in there for ya. But here, let's see if we can see the, this guy. Our, our, our child who has remained somewhat of a problem. Let's take a look. See if we can see any more of those little demons on him. He might need an extra spray down. Which I'd feel bad for because it's not exactly fun to get sprayed, but... Yeah, so his coat compared to the others is slightly rougher. As you can see, just slightly less kempt, especially around his neck and face. Um, which tells me that there might still be mite activity. And then his actual... Yeah, I'm not seeing any now, but... Here, let me look off camera. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to, I'm trying to wiggle your fur around. Can you move your head? You're so cute. Oh my gosh. He's so cute, guys. He's just like, oh, you're snuggling me? <laughs> Is that what's happening? <laughs> no, I'm trying to check you for mites. Turn around. Turn around, please. Okay, this is tough, guys. One-handed mite checking is tough. But his skin is looking pink, uh, which is, I don't know if you can see. See, like, very faintly, it's looking pink at least, which is good. It's looking nice, looking like the right color. And his energy levels are great. He is very, he's very active, which is great. But based off the fact that I think I might have seen one mite, even though he's starting to look better, I think that he still might have a problem. Squish! Oh yes, I think you might still be a problem. Are you a problem? Yeah, are you a problem? Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh my goodness, you're so silly. You're such a problem. You're such a problem. But we'll solve it. We'll solve that problem. Yes, we will. There will soon be no problem. Such a good boy. Alright, as you can see, I can manhandle these guys uh, because, <laughs> well, I bred them that way. That's how I like my mice. I like my mice to be easy to handle. Yeah, I do. I'm sorry, bud. You still have to be surrounded by, by nasty chemicals for a full another two weeks. The struggle is real. But yeah, so this whole closet basically got sprayed down. See, big mess. I accidentally spilled right there. Um, but I sprayed the walls. You can kind of see the, the, the marks from where I sprayed. I sprayed the corners of the walls. I sprayed a lot of my stuff in here. I actually took a lot of stuff out. You can see it's basically empty. Um, I sprayed inside my bedding bag. <laughs> sprayed the trash can. Uh, I put diatomaceous earth in my feed and my sunflower seeds. This is the lid to the ladies' cage in the other room. They're all in here right now, so they're not in the fun cage, but I have a 40-gallon in the other room that also got sprayed down, and I took the wooden lid and sprayed it down and put it in here so that wasn't near the cats. Uh, but yeah, so it's kind of a full-on treatment right now, and it's a little crazy. Uh, it's really annoying. I hate mites. Uh, I think that most people who keep large amount of animals hate pests and, and parasites. They're just the absolute worst. But uh, thankfully, there is something that can be done, and thankfully, so far, the treatment seems to be working. I just gotta keep it going for <laughs> another couple weeks and uh, hope that at least that last guy 
starts to show signs of improvements, but uh, the tip with treating mites is even if things look fine, just keep doing the treatment for, for the full, like, three, four weeks. I'd say four weeks at least. Because the eggs, for one, can last a lot longer than uh, you'd think. And mites can kind of hide and, and avoid things. And live for a good long while without a host. So, you know, they could be uh, around the, the room itself and, and you don't even know it, so... Just keep on doing that treatment, and uh, hopefully by the end of it, you'll actually uh, be mite-free. And that's my hope, because I want to actually bring in some new mice here. Uh, it's been a little over a year since I last brought in new mice, so I'm going to be getting like four to six new ones to add, but I want to make sure that the rest of my colony is solid, golden, happy, healthy before I bring in any new mice. So we're on our way, though, and, and then I'll finally feel... Uh, morally confident bringing home new animals but that's all for now uh thanks for watching hopefully uh this helps give you some ideas for actual treatment and oh actually one other thing to show you um, that's my mouse closet closed up but don't mind the other messes we're still in the process of cleaning right now as you can see uh but i thought i'd show you the front of the bottle i use so this is the the permethrin i use as you can see, kills a lot of different stuff. This is 13% concentration. I usually just dump in like, a, I don't know, like one, two tablespoons into half of the spray bottle full. So it's diluted down to like two or three, maybe 5% permethrin, usually less than five. I'd say two to 3% permethrin uh, instead of 13%. And then I just spray that. And the stronger would probably kill faster, but <laughs> I don't really want to subject my mice to that, so instead I do a little bit less for longer. But anyways, there's the spray I use so that you know. So just that and diatomaceous earth are your best friends and uh, I wish you luck. Ta-ta!